evening everybody welcome to another beer review now this one uh, got a beer funny enough it's a beer review i need a beer we've got a beer courtesy my mate matthew barker thank you mate for sending me this we have got a double lactose ipa at eight percent and it's from brew york and it's a can of their duo leaper there you go give it a Little swears it's got all the gubbins on the back, but I can't read it because the writing is absolutely tiny and I haven't got a magnifying glass. I could use my spectacles, but my, even my spectacles can't pick that up. So, anyway, it's a double lactose IPA, and we got the hops. Uh, the hops are Centennial T90 Comet. I can't read that one. I can't read that one. Mosaic is in there, I think. Cryo. Talus Cryo. Laurel, I think it is. Apologies, but the writing is fucking tiny. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to this. 8% I've had so far tonight. Three big ones, not under... None of them have been under 6.5%. So, am I drunk? No, I'm not, actually. I'm quite sober, considering. Considering. <laughs> anyway, let's crack it open and put, put it in the glass. So, I'm talking bollocks. So, Duo Leaper. See what it's all about. As you can see, quite clear looking. It could be an IPA for sugar addicts, this double lactose IPA. There's me, I've done a load of IPAs tonight and I've been hoping for a real kind of like chicken stock hazy beer. But none of them have been that, which is surprising. But never mind. Just whack it in there. Take your time, won't you? Take your time. There we go. So the beer isn't really that hazy, to be honest. It's There's a cloud in there. There's a cloud of yeast gone in. A little bit of carbonation. Heads kind of like... Uh, heads reminiscent of a... Yorkshire pudding, really. It's <laughs> it looks a bit Yorkshire puddingy at the top. It's got this kind of like dip in it. Anyway, let's get the aroma. Lemony. Yeah, lots of lemons. Quite juicy. It smells juicy as. Yeah, it's kind of like maybe a hint of stone fruit. It does smell juicy. Um. I'm going to go in. Cheers, Matthew, mate. Um, you're getting fruit notes. You're getting the fruit notes in abundance. You're getting peach, pear, Orange, lemon. They're there. <clears throat> but you're getting... A sweet... Sweetness on the back end. It feels like an IPA for sugar addicts. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. If you like about 10 sugars... In your tea and you want to have about 10 sugars in an IPA this is what you get um, the mouthfeel it's quite smooth it's rather pleasant got a bit of wind now this is what you get when you do beer reviews bit of wind let's go again for me 
it's too sweet. For me, it's too sweet. Um, I'm a savoury person. I love cheese on crackers. I love smoky cheese. I like all stuff like that. I like peanuts. I like pork scratchings. Um, if I had a choice between a box of chocolates and a pack of pork scratchings, I'll go for the pork scratchings. You know, that's what I like. I, I'm not into sweet things. I never have done. I don't have, never have any sugar in my coffee or tea. So when I'm having this, it does feel very sweet. So from a personal perspective, it's not a beer I'd levitate to. But there's people out there who love sugar upon sugar upon sugar. They'll have sugar on anything, and they would love this. Um, nice fruity notes, I have to say. The nice, you know, peachy, lemony notes in this work a treat. They do. The mouthfeel, for me, is, is really, really nice too. It's very soft. Very drinkable. The 8% is hidden behind that sweetness, behind the lactose. Um, it doesn't feel creamy. It just feels very, very sweet. So for me, it's a no-no for me because I don't like sweet things. But I think if you love your 10 sugars in your coffee or you haven't got any fucking teeth left, a bit like that bloke from the Pogues, you will love it. You will absolutely love it. But for me, um, double lactose IPA, it's not for me. So, Brew York Dua Lipa, thumbs up as it is, you know, what they've done. They've achieved it, what they've set out to do. But for me, too, too sweet. Too, too sweet. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this one. I got wind. I'm dying for a piss. See you on the next one. Bip, bip.